the COVID-19 pandemic, not only has it led to an incredible loss of life, but it also constituted one of the biggest shocks to the global economic order in modern history, affecting both emerging markets and developed economies alike. Given its massive economic impact, one thing that's become abundantly clear is that companies need to understand what it is they need to do to prepare themselves should the next big crisis come rolling by. This is what my collaborators and I set out to do in a new research study. Specifically, we chose to look at whether companies with greater geographical diversity were better able to withstand the economic turmoil brought about by COVID-19 as reflected by the performances in the stock market. To do this, we looked at the market performance of A-share real estate firms listed in China on its Shanghai and Shenzhen stock exchanges between February and March 2020. We chose China to conduct our research because it provided a clean timeline from which to study the economic effects of COVID. After the initial outbreak, Chinese policymakers instituted stringent measures, which were, by and large, successful in containing the spread of the virus and helped to prevent large-scale flare-ups from taking place. We also chose to look specifically at the real estate industry because companies within the sector tend to focus on developing residential and commercial projects in specific locations, making it easier for us to identify a particular firm's geographical scope. What our study found was that, as expected, the initial outbreak of COVID-19 did indeed cause significant declines in the share prices of real estate firms in China. We found that bigger companies, as well as those with lower leverage or higher cash holdings, were affected less. More importantly, we found that companies with a broader geographical scope and which had more diversified property allocations were better able to deal with the health crisis. However, we also found that firms with higher levels of leverage reported lower returns, regardless of the level of geographical diversification. Another interesting thing we found is that larger firms, which typically have better fundamentals, may be even more vulnerable to the pandemic if they were geographically concentrated. Generally speaking, our research helps us to better understand and confirm what many would consider to be common sense, but perhaps surprisingly, not everyone is doing. Geographical diversification can indeed be especially helpful for companies looking to minimize the adverse effects of stock market swings. However, its effects are not almighty, especially for those with weak fundamentals. We also show that for larger companies, diversification is becoming increasingly essential and that these firms are expected by the market to be more diversified and to put fewer eggs into one basket. Would you like to learn more about my research? Read the full article at China Business Knowledge at CUHK.